What's up YouTube? I'm back with another radio video and today I'm going to talk about this kit right here. Hopefully I put this in right there. Yeah. And it says the, uh, this is the um, AC outlet ground wire kit and it comes with the four foot ground wire and three one foot adapters. And I bought this a few months ago. I believe it was in February. And I think I paid about twelve dollars with the uh, three foot. He does, I believe, he does sell it without the uh, just the ground wire, without the. Uh, but I bought it with the adapters. Um, you can make this yourself, actually. But I like supporting operators, hammer operators. I make this stuff, and um, I remember reading the the description about it. That I, I believe it was a, a friend of his encouraged him to sell these as a kit. And that's what he did. He sold them on eBay. I don't know if he still sells them today. I'm going to go check that out. But you can make this yourself. Um, if I do find the uh, link to it, I will post it in the description below. Um, so let me uh, demonstrate. First thing is first. I'm going to show you what's inside. Take it out of the bag. Put the bag right there. Okay. Here, my son playing... Uh, it is talking uh, stuffed animal there. This is one end of it. And this goes to the wall outlet. And then, um, of course, it has three one-foot adapters. This is one of them. The alligator clip. Put that right there. And you have this uh, terminal for the screw-type screw, on, screw type, um, terminal. And then you have this one. It looks like it's uh, just the end of the wire tin, in, uh, tin, tin with uh, solder or... Uh, I thought it was a banana plug, but it's not that. And then, of course, this is the adapter for that. Now, of course, I got it hooked up with the alligator clip. I'm going to plug this into the wall, out, wall outlet. Now, note that... <clears throat> excuse me. Actually, it's a warning. And the warning is that you got to have to make sure that your outlet is properly grounded. And the way you can test that is you buy one of those. Um, I, I have one around here, but I can't find it for some reason. Like always, when I make a video, you know, something always comes up. <laughs> so I couldn't find the uh, tester. But it's a, it's a tester. You plug it into the wall outlet, and it has like three lights, and, and it tells you if it's properly grounded, and it has other tests on it. It tells you if it's your reverse polarity and so on. So the, uh, the test, uh, the, you know, this outlet that I'm going to plug it in is properly grounded. Okay, but make sure that your outlet is properly grounded before doing this. So that's the warning I'm giving you. And this, and if you make this yourself, just remember that this wire is only hooked up to this. These two are just, you know, there's no, there's no wires running into this. It's just a ground prong to the wire. Of course, I've seen people use the, the screw on the, on the wall outlet. Or they solder in one of these joints and just put it in the other. So these are good for like an apartment where, you know, obviously the ground um, is not readily available. Not like when you're outside and you're near a ground stake or in a park where you can use ground, you know, use a stake or whatever. This is for, maybe it's like for apartments and, and, and it works pretty good. I've been trying it out for the last couple of weeks after having it for months and and and, and I'm, I'm getting blown away by the results so i'm gonna plug it in here i don't have to show you that that's self-explanatory and this is the end for that let me just put this aside over here and i'm going to just show you first with the radio turned on just with the telescopic antenna you can hear not much going on very very low um Barely audible. And I believe that is Radio Saudi. Again, same thing with this one. Turn this one off. With that one. And put the volume up. You hear nothing. Nothing at all. And, um, of course, this kit was made for the older radios. Uh, like my Halicraft or something. But I'm going to show you that you can use it on a portable. With this guy. 3.5 millimeter connector on one end. Hey, Sanjay. And on this end, 
you have your insulated this is going to be alligator clip to uh 10 feet of wire random wire um yeah in the window this is the ground you're going to hook up your ground clip there and i'm going to demonstrate that now let me just turn off this one let's start with this radio this radio right here turn this on plug this in 3.5 millimeter again let me get my wire trying to do this without knocking over this tripod make sure nothing touches okay so as you can see the signals a bit better actually just with that alone it's pretty good it's actually not that bad and this is the ground noticeable difference okay and that's for that radio okay let me connect that now we're gonna try this one this one here again okay i'm gonna plug this one in and you know it works with any portable radio oh sorry about that always never fails when you make a video your mind blanks out at times and there you go with the signal signal as you can see okay I'm trying to get it here so i can show you the connections now this wire falling all over the place As you can see the signal, it's okay. Now the ground. Noticeable improvement. Okay. So there you go. Now, even without the uh, wire, just using the ground, you can still get signal. Okay? So, there you go. I hope I demonstrated the use of this ground kit on a portable radio. And let me plug this over here. And, like I said, it seems to be working quite well. Um, like I said, you can use this kit for... Let's put everything back in the bag. You can use this kit for apartment buildings where ground is not readily available for radio listening. And like I said, I'm going to try to find the guy's uh, eBay. Or, you know, or if you're on eBay, you can search for, for this. I'll just post the... Uh, if I find the link, I'll post it below. But this is the kit right there. Okay. And uh, let me just get in a little closer there. And there you go. And it works pretty well. And of course, this this is um, just a 3.5 millimeter connector. And never mind that. That's just uh, me putting the uh, ferrite bead. I do that on all my cables. You can buy these on eBay. I mean, excuse me, Amazon. They, it's like a bag of 25. I use this on all my cables. It does help with some of the noise. And on this end, you have to splice it like this. This is gonna this 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 is the shielding. Is it okay? Shielding. That's for the ground, and this is the antenna. You clip it on there. So I hope this video helped, and thank you for watching, and thank you for subscribing to my channel. Thank you for all the comments, and thank you for all the likes. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do. And with that, hey Sunday. With, with that, um, I'll bid you farewell. Take care. Talk to you soon. I mean, see you soon. And um, have a good day. Take care. Bye-bye.